chapter 3, Mishnah 7. Having mentioned at the end of the previous Mishnah that any amount of land is enough for the loss of Peya, according to Rabbi Akiva, Bikurim, Prosbul, and acquiring movables together with the land, the Mishnah continues to list other laws for which any amount of land is enough. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. If someone writes over his property to others while he is lying, lying seriously ill, but he did not specify that he was doing so because he felt that his death was near, if he left over for himself any amount of land, his gift of the property to others is a valid gift, even if he recovers. Had this gift been motivated by fear that his death was near, he would not have saved some property for himself. Therefore, we assume that it was a straightforward gift, and it stands even if he recovers. If he did not leave over for himself any land, his gift is not a valid gift if he recovers, because his leaving nothing for himself indicates that he was expecting to die soon, and since he recovered, it emerges that his gift was made in error, so it is void. Another law for which any amount of land is enough. If someone who is lying seriously ill writes over his property to his sons, and he writes over his, to his wife any amount of land, and she remains silent in the face of this distribution of the hu husband's property, she thereby forfeits her right to collect her ketubah from the properties assigned to the sons. Rabbi Yossi adds and says, if she accepts it upon herself on her own sake to take a portion of the estate among the sons, even if the husband did not write over anything to her, she thereby forfeits her kasuba payment.